What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new video. Just before this video does go on to start, shout out to the people on screen right now. If you'd like a shout out in a future video, all you have to do is comment hashtag WeFruity. Also be sure to stay active on the channel so you never miss a future video I do go ahead and upload. But now with all out of the way, let's get right into the video. So in today's video, like I said, I'm going to show you how to get the green duffel bag. You'll actually need to use a direct remote glitch to actually do this, and also freeze the Christmas mask. So for the direct remote, you simply have to shortlist a bird and an online character, and make sure they're the only two things shortlisted in your actual shortlist menu. And also the chicken bird actually does not work, so I do not advise using that there to do the dupe birds glitch. So once you have got the online character and bird shortlisted, make your way into an invite only session and make a standard outfit like you can see on screen. And also you will need to equip a parachute as that tends to help with the actual saving process of the director mode. Now what you want to do is make your way over to any time trial on the map. Time trials tend to change every week so the time trial may not be the same as the one in the video, but do not worry, it will still work. Once you're at the time trial, make sure your location is set to last location, and then once you have that set up, start the time trial, and as soon as you actually start the time trial, just go into any story mode character. When you're in story mode, go ahead and make your way over to director mode. Now, when you're in director mode, go down to shortlist actors, and then go up and down on your controller with the bird and online character. What this will actually do is make your bird actually duplicate on top of the hay bale. Now it usually takes about 25 to 30 minutes for the birds to finish duplicating. Once they have finished duplicating, your online character will actually go over to the hay bale. For PS4 I would say don't go fast when actually doing this part as some people tend to actually get blue screened. Once your character has went over to the hay bale, leave him on there for a couple of seconds in case he actually does go back to a trailer. But once you have got the character on the hay bale, don't delete anything just yet. And then go to any category like beach bombs and then press X on appearance and you will see mod outfits. Once you have got the mod outfits to appear, just hold down on your analog stick like you see in the gameplay to go through all the different categories to make sure that your character does not go back to default. Once you are fully confident that your character will not go back to a default, all you simply want to do from there is press X on appearance and find free outfits with a Christmas mask. Now once you have found free outfits that you like with a Christmas mask, all you want to do from there is then delete from your shortlist your bird and your online character. Once you have simply deleted your bird and online character from shortlist and have free outfits with a Christmas mask, you're literally good to go for the next step. For the next step, once you have the Christmas mask shortlisted in your actual menu, go ahead and scroll up on your Christmas mask outfit and then what you want to do as well is spam X on appearance to change it while actually going up really fast on the Christmas masks. What that will actually do is lag the game out, meaning the Christmas mask or a part of the actual outfit will actually freeze and transfer to every other outfit they actually go through. What you also want to do as well is zoom in and out while spamming X and going up and down between the outfits as that tends to help out as well. Another thing is, the only way to actually save the green duffel bag is you will in fact need an elf mask or a unicorn mask. That's the only downside, but they actually do save the green duffel bag so you can bring it to online. So as you can see, I do actually have the gloves actually stuck. So when I'm going through different outfits, they actually are staying there. 
Now also when actually freezing the Crisis Mask, simply go ahead and spam X as you're scrolling through all your shortlisted outfits with Crisis Masks. And as you're spamming X, you also want to zoom in and out, and then once you've got it to about 1 to 2 minutes of actually doing that, back out and then go to like Beach Bombs and press X on appearance on the outfits and see if anything has actually stuck. So yeah, you just want to keep doing that, this can take a while to actually get it like stuck with a Christmas mask, but as you can see I did in fact get the elf mask to in fact stick. Now once you have your elf mask or unicorn actual stuck with the outfits, all you simply want to do is keep pressing X on appearance until you find a duffel bag. Now the duffel bags that work for this is the black open, black closed, green open and green closed. Now with the black closed duffel bag it will actually freeze your whole outfit in online and the only way to actually remove that is simply taking the easy way out. But with the other three duffel bags you don't have to do none of that, you can change your outfits regardless. So it actually did take me a while to actually find a green duffel bag on an outfit. So once you have found it and actually shortlist the outfit with the green duffel bag, you don't want to enter director mode just yet. What you want to do is get one of the other Christmas mask outfits that has got no blacklisted clothing and actually enter director mode with that outfit. Once you have seen it's got no blacklisted stuff on it, go ahead and enter story mode by using the wheel. Once in story mode, hit start, go to online and start up an invite only session. Now when you load back into direct mode, you will in fact have the outfit that you recently just got from direct mode. But don't worry, just go ahead and save this outfit. You can keep it if you want. If not, just continue to go on with the glitch by going to the clothing store and selecting any standard outfit. Once you have the standard outfit selected, simply remove anything on the face of the outfit and then go ahead and resave the outfit. Now once you've done that, make your way over to any ammunition. When you're in ammunition, go to parachute bags and equip the actual Israel parachute bag. Once you've got the Israel bag, simply go ahead and back out. Now, pull up interaction menu and put on the parachute. You don't have to actually save this outfit just yet. Now, make your way over to this parachute job in the Los Santos custom area as you can see on the gameplay. Now, once you're actually at the parachute job, all you simply want to do is enter the mission and start it up and make sure that you're actually the host. That way it is literally just you and you can start it up and you don't have to wait for anyone else. Now when you have actually started it up, all you simply want to do is jump out of the helicopter and fly directly to the ground. You don't have to do the checkpoints, but once you are in fact near the ground and you're about to hit it, simply pull up your phone and actually quit the job. So like you can see in the gameplay, I am getting quite close to the ground and all you do is simply pull up your phone and then just quit the job. When you spawn into the lobby, all you simply want to do is pull up your weapon wheel and then all you want to do is simply look at your parachute and if you have two parachutes, all you simply want to do from there is request a CEO. Once your CEO fly up in a buzzard, now as soon as you're landing, pull up your interaction menu and switch to the standard outfit. You want to switch to the standard outfit as you see the character actually taking off the parachute. Once you have actually switched to the outfit, you will in fact see at the bottom right an orange circle. Now what you want to do is make your way back to the time trial and simply go ahead and start it up. Once you're in the time trial and started it up, Make sure to pull up your wheel and enter story mode, and go to any character. Now when you're in story mode, simply go back to director mode. Now go to shortlist actors. Once you're in shortlist actors, make sure you still have the green duffel bag. Also when you're actually going through looking for the green duffel bag, you will also see that the outfits that did not have the elf mask 
will have actually had their mask removed. That is why you want to use the elf mask. Now once you find the outfit with the green duffel bag and the elf mask, simply go ahead and back out and go to animals and find the bird that you were using at the start to duplicate with. Now go ahead and select the bird and actually enter the director mode with that bird. Now what you want to do is find a moving vehicle and then fly into it. Now just as you're about to fly into it, you want to actually have your interaction menu open and hover over quit director mode. Now once you have that open, all you want to do is spam A just as you're about to hit the vehicle. Now if you've done it right, you will actually have a black loading screen. Now this will take quite a while if you've actually got it right to actually get the wasted loading screen. So as you can see the wasted loading screen actually did come up for me and then after that it will go back to a black infinite loading screen. Now if you haven't got this the first time and it actually messes up and you do not hit it, do not worry, it will return you back to a trailer and then simply just select the bird and then redo that step again. Now you will get an alert screen, simply just accept that alert screen and it will return you back to director mode. Now when you're back in director mode, all you have to do is go to shortlist actors and then go ahead and select the outfit with the green duffel bag. So now it is time to actually get the duffel bag finally. All you have to do is select the outfit and enter director mode. Now have one last check to make sure the outfit doesn't have any blacklisted clothing. Now all you simply have to do is once you're in story mode just start up an invite only session. Now when you actually do load back into online you should have the green duffel bag. Now all you gotta do from there is simply go ahead and save the outfit and you now have the green duffel bag. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video I'm going to show you that the black duffel bag still works even after the casino update. Now to do the black duffel bag you will need a friend or yourself to have a terabyte. Once you have a terabyte all you simply want to do is go ahead and then go to the actual keypad in the actual terabyte itself. Once you're at the keypad and you actually have started up, go ahead and actually click on client jobs and then once you're in client jobs you want to start up robbery in progress. <laughs> Now once you actually have started up the mission go ahead and just follow it until you actually get to the bank to where you can actually get the black duffel bag. Now when you're actually at the bank all you want to do is simply take out all the robbers that are actually in the bank and when you're actually at the third robber he will be the one that has the black duffel bag. Now all you want to do from there is simply go ahead and just kill the third robber and then just take the black duffel bag. So now that you have the black duffel bag, all you simply need to do is get a helicopter that can be from your CEO or it can actually be from the helipads or your Pegasus vehicles. All you want to do is simply get a helicopter and then just get inside it. Now that you're in your helicopter, all you want to do from there is simply fly up high above the drop off and what you want to do from there is parachute onto the actual yellow circle at the drop off. Do not worry if you actually miss the yellow circle, 
simply just get in another helicopter, fly up and just do it again until you actually hit it so you actually do land in the yellow circle. So as you can see I do actually land in the yellow circle and then actually dodge past the mission. Now that you've done this, you're literally good to go to the next step. So for the next step, all you have to do is make your way over to any ammunition on the map. Now that you're at an ammunition, simply make your way over to where you can buy a parachute and then purchase a parachute if you do not have one and then you just want to purchase the Israel bag. Once you've purchased the Israel bag, go ahead and actually equip the parachute onto your character. Now make your way over to the mask shop. When you're at the mask shop you can either use a helicopter or an oppressor to actually do this part. So for me I'm just going to request my mark to oppressor and then all you want to do from there is simply go up into the air so you have enough room to actually skydive and then parachute down to the mask shop. Now when you're actually parachuting down to the mask store you want to get it as close as you can to either side of the masks or the hats and you want to spam right on your d-pad as fast as you can so just before you actually take off the parachute you want to actually be in the option to where you can save your outfit. Now once you've done that quickly simply go ahead and just save the outfit to any item slot. 
And yeah, that's basically what you done. You now have the black duffel bag on your character, and then that's really it. So the only downside to this is it actually breaks the outfit. So you have to take the easy way out if you want to change the outfit from a black duffel bag. So yeah, that's it for today's video. If you did go on to enjoy it, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new. And remember to turn that bell icon on so you never miss future videos like this. And yeah, Venom Place signing out. Peace.